Hi everyone, welcome back to It's Dwight Cooking Show. Today I'll be giving you an oven baked fish. Or you can call it oven jerk then because I'll be using my jerk seasoning and other seasoning for the preparation. Now first you see my fish. Remember that fishing trip? <laughs> this is the head of the fish. It's a large fish. I won't be doing it. I just had the, the head in there because I've cut up half of the fish to prepare. Now let's get this show on the road. So let's get the seasoning on guys. There you see a list of my barbecue sauce and my seasonings that I'll be using. So first off, my homemade jerk sauce. Just put in a teaspoon. About a teaspoon of garlic powder that has in a little salt what I'll be using today is a Maggi all-purpose seasoning but you can if you have jerk sauce or jerk seasoning you can use it I love the Maggi because it gives a nice flavor and it has less salt so I'll just use a teaspoon of it I'm going to add a little cooking oil vegetable oil if you call it that some fermento not much and have gloves so I'll just use my hand for this and just marinate this together because it has the jerk sauce has a lot of spice you have to use your gloves uh, one thing that I'm forgetting is the browning so when next you see me I'll be adding a teaspoon of it to the fish and I'll be also replacing my gloves because I already touched the fish with it I hope you guys enjoyed that fishing video that I did earlier this is one of the fish from the okay guys I have my grace browning and I'm going to add just maybe half a teaspoon not much please use your measuring utensils for those who knows, know how to measure they will know just how to use it from the bottle you can use your measuring utensil you want to add your spices you add your spices because I know not a lot of persons love spicy food so guys what I'm going to do now is to put this in the fridge for about roughly an hour maybe more than that to marinate and then you guys will be seeing my oven jerk fish recipe there you go guys so okay guys I'm back I actually gave it two hours now what I'm gonna do as you see I prepared my my baking sheet I'm going to add the leftover oil to my tray because I don't want the fish to be sticking okay I'm just going to use a piece of clean hand towel to just spread the oil over the foil. While my oven is being preheated. There you go. So what I'm going to do now is just place it 
on the sheet in no particular order but you know you want a little pattern guys this was a big fish because oh there's my oven the limit on these fish guys is 28 inches so you know it has to be a big fish they weigh a lot you see in a previous video that I did one that was weighed over five pounds well they weigh way more than that too it depends on the time of day when you catch them it's really nice to be able to catch your fish for dinner I love fishing. I've, I've loved fishing from ever since I was young and I always participated in any fishing trips that my brothers would go on. Okay guys, here we go. Ready for the oven. So when next you see me, I'll be putting it in the oven. You want to put it on the top shelf and bake it for about roughly 20 minutes or so. I'll check back on it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to turn them over. You should smell it now. The aroma. Ooh. I'm going to put it back in the oven now for the final run. There you go, guys. My oven jerk fish. So when next you see me, I'll be at the dinner table. Okay guys, here you see my finishing dish, my oven jerk fish, and I share it with a little callaloo or spinach. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thank you.